a obtaining a relation between angle of incidence and angle of refraction materials required a plank white chart protractor scale small black painted plank a semi circular glass disc of thickness nearly 2 cm pencil and laser light procedure take a wooden plank which is covered with white chart draw two perpendicular lines passing through the middle of the paper as shown in the figure let the point of intersection be o mark the line nn which is normal to the another line marked as mm mm represent the line drawn along the interface of two media and nn represent the normal drawn to this line at o take a protractor and place it along nn in such a way that its center coincides with o as shown in figure then mark the line angles from 0 degrees to 90 degrees on both sides of the line nn as shown in the figure repeat the same on the other side of the line nn the angle should be indicated on the curved line now place a semi circular glass disc so that its diameter coincides with the interface line mm and its center coincides with the point of o point on laser light along nn in such a way that the light propagates from a to glass through the interface of point o observe the path of laser light coming from other side of disc there is no deviation send laser light along a line which marks 15 degree angle of incidence with nn and see that it must pass through the point o measure its corresponding angles of refraction repeat the experiment with the angle of incidence of 20 degrees 30 degrees 40 degrees 50 degrees and 60 degrees and note the corresponding angles of refraction